I'm thinking I'm going to put an angled piece here just to make it kind of gradual. And then put a piece on top here underneath so it can hang over. Then it's going to be enough right in here. So that's what I'm like a little U-shaped channel. It will run all the way back and the underside here where the channel is. I know it's hard to understand, but I will show you. I decided that those short pieces are going to have a little notch out. So it will run along the top of one side. If this is the top of the wall, there's going to be a little square like that. The cross beams will come across here with a notch, like I'm saying, a notch here to match that. Yeah, that doesn't make a lot of sense, but this is the basic idea here. I've got, this is going to go across. So, this would be the uh, current wall. And uh, it'll have that little channel of wood sitting on top there. The cloth will come up from here. fabric will go and the reason I'm putting that little trim in here is so that's up the cloth is going to come up the side of that little trim piece and go up here to the top that way if water hits it it's coming down and will roll out this way I I've been doing a lot of ciphering on the hinge here, but I think it's going to be something like this. So, if that's about how much it's going to need to go up, and I'm just guessing that looks actually a little high, but if that's the most, it's going to have to actually pivot. This should be pretty watertight in here. But the whole point of this is that I've been out here ciphering. And I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this extra off the top. So I can start doing the real roof. This is one section that I've got of the roof so far. And just trying to get it sized right. I don't think one layer of ply or a fiberglass is going to make a big difference. Today is when I realized I've got some quality control issues. I knew I did, but I didn't know they'd be such issues or be that big a deal. So I had already 
realize that the back of this, when that's all square, is wider at the back by about an inch than it is up front here. In here, you can see that it kind of goes here, here, so it bends out here at the back. There's really nothing I can do to make it closer. If I pull in this, these sides here, then none of this works. So it is what it is. This side, you can see it kind of almost curves in. So as I've said before, it's not square. I also found these little bubbles kind of where it didn't sit up close to the frame and then I was looking at this hinge action here and the one board that lays right here across this line it seems fine and dandy like here seems to lay down well right so it all looks good but then the next one when I lay up the next board a little bit further back like here which will be about a quarter inch from the other one with the hinge in between when I put that one down all of a sudden this side doesn't want to sit and I looked at the I looked at this board it looks fine I flipped it over thought maybe it's just warped but nope same difference if you can't tell I'm a little frustrated a little bit frustrated. It's almost May. Hoping I'd have the roof almost done. I keep looking at it now, trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing wrong. The truck's back in the shop, but it's ready to go get. I need some more ply for the roof. So, I'd be lucky if I'm ready for the road by the end of this month. I hope. I really hope. End of June is my birthday, and that's when I was hoping I'd be all the way up in the northwest. So, we'll see. Cross your fingers. Peace out. So, when you've spent your Saturday afternoon hoping to make progress on your camper, and spent most of the time realizing how your crappy previous work is making it exceptionally difficult and nobody to blame but yourself and it's Saturday evening and you're feeling frustrated there's really only one thing to do if you're me have a Kentucky meal and relax on the deck. I have a new motto. Just make it fucking work. That's going to be my new motto. I, if I have to throw a tarp over it and do it that way, that's what I'm going to do. I should mention that the one good thing about all this is that the whole idea of building the camper was to practice for building a boat. So, it's really good to learn the stuff you didn't do very well and hopefully do it better next time. The stuff that causes problems. The stuff that makes it more work. The stuff you wasted your time on and it really didn't matter. The stuff that you could have done without doing stuff you did before you were ready and wasted time. 
all of it is good experience. So, just like going out, being a nomad on the road, they say it's all about the experience, not about the destination. Which is exactly the way I should be looking at the camper build. It's taking longer than I thought, which just shows that I'm too optimistic. And it takes longer than I thought. And the boat probably will take longer than I think it will. And uh, even though I have all this experience, <clears throat> it's going to be another learning experience. You never know it all. And you never stop learning. So that's a good thing, right? Right. Anyway. So, I'm feeling better, and uh, having a little zen moment out here on my deck. <laughs>